So you're getting a, a good feel of how. So the Windsor's showing that. Oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, I'm saying Windsor's showing that if you're gonna uh, keep keep up with him here, you're gonna have to deal with pressure right from the beginning. Yeah, one of the fastest cursor speeds we have seen, and with that pressure added at the very beginning, there, Blinzer pretty much takes a pretty dominating uh, first game. Uh, Guinea didn't really have any opportunity to get something set up. He was just immediately pressured because that is the one benefit on playing on level 10 against level 8 is your garbage will send slightly quicker. But I think a lot of the uh, cons outweigh that one big pro there in this matchup. It looks like Guinea's had a little, uh, had a bit of trouble starting there. <clears throat> and Blinzer again starting off as the, the aggressor. See if Guinea can kind of use this time to clear some garbage, get something going. Yeah, most of the time he's been fumbling around with clears, just trying to get that starting thing, but he hasn't been able to get that chain starter right now. It shows some promise that he can probably up his survivability because he is just finding single clears all the time. But you still got to get those chains and combos going so your opponent's just not running all over you the whole time. Yeah, and I imagine with this being round one, uh, maybe still getting warmed up a little bit. Maybe throughout the set it'll uh, get more used to the speed and everything. Just as you say, yeah, he picked it up quite a bit with that starting chain. He's still got to be careful, though. He gets a clear just in a good amount of time here. And so now there's finally going to be some pressure on Blinzer's side. But Blinzer's definitely not going to slow down because of that. Yeah, both players just kind of clearing garbage right now. Um, trying to get a little bit more pressure on the other opponent. I don't know if either is topped off, although maybe once Windsor drops this. No, Windsor's not quite topped off. But after this, he surely will be. A solid 9 chain with some follow-up and... <clears throat> And Blinzer has just been sending some smaller garbage, so Guinea will kind of clear everything right here. Um, but now he'll have some more to work with. Yeah, it looks like he has picked up the gameplay finally. And yeah, like you mentioned, it could have just been like, you know, a couple of the first games of the tournament. Plus, when you have to play Blinzer first round, it can't like uh, catch you off guard just a little bit there. Man definitely has the reputation of being probably the second best player in the uh, Discord right now. So. That, that can do a little bit to your mental game right off the bat. But once you know that he's playing on level 10, you know there's a chance because you got a little bit more survivability than he does. Yeah, definitely. But even with the uh, extra survivability we mentioned before... Oh, and Guinea takes it. But, but we mentioned before how the survivability is a big blow in level 10, but the uh, pressure that you can apply in level 10, especially as someone of Blinzer's caliber, um, can be really overwhelming to start off with it's funny because in the perfect world if people were really super optimized in this game it would almost be a hundred percent a disadvantage to always play on a lower level just due to that fact but because of a human error and just like there's so much uh improvement still to be done by every single player that plays this game uh, level 10 is far from optimized. Yeah, definitely, and especially uh, with tricks like buffering certain uh, inputs and um, other things like this, uh, you can really milk the time even when you only have one frame of hell. Um, so hopefully as as people keep, seem to be improving really quickly, we'll start to see more of this kind of <clears throat> be
be incorporated in people's gameplays. I'll tell you what, I'm scared of the day when people, like, get level 10 down and stall out to five minutes and we have to make even harder levels after <laughs> that. <laughs> and Blinzer cleans that one up goes up three one uh but this is best of nine so we'll have to win two more on level 10 to take the set and he's definitely been improving as the set has been going on his chains have been looking a lot better like what's starting at the beginning here kind of drops it there for a second but blinzer's just been one-upping him in almost every situation you saw that huge a chain opener there at the beginning Putting immediate pressure on Guinea, already losing 7 health at the beginning of this match. Blinzer has some time while Guinea's clearing some garbage, but on level 10 he's gotta be... Gotta have a clear entity at all times, and we'll see if he can get this down. Oh, fortunately he's not fully topped off, but... That's kind of uh, problems you have to deal with at level 10 of like, you don't really have any breathing room even when the other person's clearing because at any point <clears throat> they could send you something and if you're not ready with a clear, you'll be caught off guard and won't have time to survive. We're almost to that point of where it's going to be extremely defensive for both players. They've done a good amount to keep uh, one another topped off here, so it could be pretty much in Guinea's favor right now if he continues to apply the pressure and in smaller amounts to Blinzer, because that's when it's going to be more difficult for him to survive. As you see, like a lot of the garbage the same that time... Blinzer sh sent over, that it, it was just like yeah. very separated, little shake time, and it, it's just really hard to react to. Uh and Guinea not able to find the clear, uh, fumbling around a little bit, but Blinzer takes four games uh, to one for Guinea. <clears throat> Blinzer showing why level 10 is his thing, man. It doesn't matter if you're two levels under him, he's still going to uh, put more pressure on you and eventually make you uh, crack. Look at... Uh... His start at the beginning of this match, too, and Guinea's going to have those two separated pillars. He's got to get those down in a hurry and try to do a follow-up against Blinzer. But Blinzer kind of fumbles on the right side of the screen, so Guinea's going to get a gift there and manage to take a second one of this set. And yeah, definitely don't count Guinea out. If he keeps up his defensive game, he can definitely take this. And both with solid starts right here. <clears throat> um, not sure if Blinzer will be topped off, but if he is, um, he might have some troubles. Oh, but he finds a clear just in time. Oh, wow. Those reds just fell. Seven reds in a row fell <laughs> for that seven combo and that was crucial for him because he was in a very scary situation and because he managed to get that blinzer just didn't have enough time to react on his uh level 10 speed there that one frame very unforgiving and now guinea making some sort of comeback right now i think he's just getting more and more warmed up and if he can keep applying pressure like he does he can knock off blinzer here in the first round I think both of them are about to be topped off, off right here. Uh, um, both get the clear, so it's going to be clearing some garbage for a while now. <clears throat> Although Blinzer did start with uh, some more segmented stuff, whereas Guinea sent a large chain to begin with. And since Blinzer doesn't have any panels on his screen, he doesn't have really much to work to apply more pressure while he's clearing all this stuff. And 
blends are still at work to this very first garbage block two separate chains falling he drops that which was probably well definitely was a mistake there left him with no clears at the bottom there and guinea had the appropriate follow-up at the end so just like that blinzer is up four to one but uh guinea's caught him sleeping it is now four to four and this is a match deciding point right now Ooh. When Guinea's in a tough situation, gets that clear. He's gonna be in an awkward position right here. Can he find it in time? He finds the reds. <clears throat> He's gonna have a little bit of separated stacks down with those two four combos. It's hard to get that set up in Tetris Attack, but when you do it, it can be very brutal to your opponent if they focus on one side of their stack. It but Guinea, he's been uh, calm and collected right now, and he's going to continue to survive. Oh, and Blinzer was kind of freaking out right there, but he ended up catching Guinea off guard. But yeah, I think in a couple more seconds, Blinzer might have died there. So that was really close game nine. Yeah, for sure, Guinea. He he tried to make the comeback. He won three in a row to close it off there, but in the end, it, Blinzer will just never let up on his pressure, no matter what level that you're on, and he's gonna keep it going over and over. And that's why he won this match. So good stuff to him. Blinzer gonna be starting off one and zero, and Guinea falling to zero and one. You got plenty of time to try to get that record back up, though. 